Greetings everybody. Welcome to Yasukuni Shrine. I'm going to be taking you on a strobe, which is a streamed movie together, and we're going to go take a look at the first cherry blossom in Tokyo. Yes, that's right. I saw in the news that it had bloomed. I'm pretty excited about this, so let's go check it out. Now, this is called the uh, meteorological uh, index tree, which means this is the tree that they use in order to measure when the cherry blossoms are going to bloom. I came here by bicycle. Welcome to Yasukuni. This is pretty neat. Never go down the center of the shrine. We're going to take a look this way. And then most of the trees you can see in front of us have not started to blossom. It's pretty dark. But the index tree is over here. You can already see the people taking pictures of it. Do you see that? Let's go over there, take a look at the index tree. This is a uh, app called Double Take, which allows me to use both the front and the back camera to bring you kind of a unique perspective that I can only do with the iPhone 11 Pro. I don't think that the cherry blossoms are gonna open too much this weekend, but for me, for everything that's been going on, it's very nice to have something positive to uh, look forward to. And the cherry blossoms is that one thing every year where I can say winter's gone, spring is here, and we can kind of celebrate together. Do you see that on your screen? All right, let's focus on the cherry blossoms. So here's the tree from behind. The sun is just setting here at Yasukuni Shrine. It's really pretty goes up here and probably in the next uh, four or five days all these blossoms are gonna start opening up like popcorn pop 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 and you're gonna get a chance to see uh, spring in action I guess that's why they call it spring it just kind of springs open let's go over to the other side and I'll show you the one piece of popcorn that's on the tree over there the index tree for Japan for quite a long time. There's a sign on the base of it right here. Let's pan down and take a quick look. It's telling here, this is a sample tree for the um, phenological observation conducted by the Tokyo Regional Headquarters of the Japan Meteorological Agency, the JMA. It doesn't say how long it's been. That's kind of a shame. Oh, I see it. Let's come over here. pan across this tree here and you can see there's one blossom and we would call that the first blossom of the cherry blossom season. Do you see it right in the center of your screen? I kind of wish I could just go over there and get a closer look, but this is the best we can do. I'm just going to pan over, that's the new theater, pan over to see the entire tree. Now you can see it there. The blossom is right about here, the one that's open. But if I pull back a little bit, you can see it's beautiful. There's a lot of people here and it looks like everybody's taking pictures like paparazzi for the one of the most famous cherry blossom trees in Japan, uh, definitely top 10. Uh, the JMA has been using this for maybe 50, 60 years. There's a long history on it, but on the side here, you can see there's some cones and barriers so people don't charge it uh, because of the situation worldwide. There's not a lot of people here but uh, typically there'd be maybe four, five times that. This is panned down here, you can see the barriers. And the longer you stay here, people don't, don't stick around too long. But do you see the tree? It's got um, some uh, poles to hoist it up so it stays safe even in the wind. It's a very important tree. You can tell by the way they protect it.
When you do come to Yatsukuni, just keep in mind this is a very sacred place. So you don't want to use a loud voice. Uh, show respect to people who come here to worship. Here you go, you can see the limbs of this Sakura tree being uh, supported by wood there. Do you see that? All the way to the ground and uh, when there's typhoons and when the weather's not good later in the fall, it stays uh, protected. You can get a little bit closer on the off season. I think it's just about three, four days away and wow, this tree's gonna be beautiful. Maybe we'll come back and take a closer look at it. I did come here in another, in a live stream several years ago. What was that last year? Just on the other side uh, from the index tree, there's a lot of other cherry blossoms. And Yasukuni Shrine is a very popular place to go for cherry blossom viewing. This over here is the, is the main shrine. Um, very respectful. People come here to pray, so you don't want to linger too much over there. And then we're just going to go over out of the shrine area and then walk over down the, down the walkway all the way to the front. Now there's a huge tori, tori gate uh, at the end of it. And as you get closer to the main shrine, it gets smaller and smaller. Slightly smaller. They're still pretty big. <laughs> this one's a gigantic one. Oh, that's interesting. Um, it, since about two or three years ago, they've, they've banned drinking alcohol inside of here. Uh, no loud music. Again, be respectful. No karaoke, apparently, and no drones. Absolutely not. Don't even attempt it. Things will not go well for you if you do. Never walk down the center. Uh, never walk down the center uh, when you enter a shrine. That lane down the middle is reserved for kamisama. And stick to the side. There's a, a very large toy gate. There's even a bigger one at the front. Can you see it? Just uh, about 300 meters past there where that glare is in the, in the bottom left. That's uh, the bigger one. And on the left side, this is Japanese sake and sake makers will come to shrines and donate this uh, to be blessed. I guess it'd be like, I don't know, is holy water a bad comparison? But it would be, it'd be blessed and it's good to have your sake at the shrine. Again, Japanese sake is called Nihonshu, which means the drink of Japan or Japan's drink. So you always see these in front of Japanese uh, shrines. Sometimes temples as well, Buddhist temples. You can wash your hands there. And whoosh, there it is, Yasukuni Shrine at the entrance. That was the index tree um, in about a week or so. These trees here and here and here It'll just be completely white. This year, they're not doing any celebration. So the, the lights and everything have been put away. Typically, there would be lights. Lights on the, on the uh, left and right of the corridor. Beautiful white trees. Everybody is amazed. And they have celebrations and uh, performances by some of the military bands. Seeing the Japan Self-Defense Force. It was their patriotic songs. Uh, probably going all the way back to World War II. But it, it just made me feel very much like in Japan. You can see the discipline in this, the... Uh, in the cadet's eyes and that was refreshing to see I think maybe possibly but uh, it does make you feel very much like you're in Japan uh, again that just because you're and in front of me you can see in the other screen that is the bigger Tori gate the main one uh, when you enter from Kudanshita station and this all in front if you're looking at the at the smaller screen there that is wow that is uh going to usually at this time of year filled with drink and food vendors street food and today there's nothing so the cherry blossoms the festivals have been canceled or suspended i guess you could say but that doesn't mean you you can't come out and take a look at the cherry blossoms as the sun sets here and yasukuni looking back at the shrine it's a beautiful sight not a lot of people today I hope you like this. This is uh, 
this is a place I come pretty much every year to check it out. It's a shame though that the festivities are canceled this year, but uh, if you are in Japan traveling, uh, please do be safe. This is not something, uh, the situation that we're in, something to take lightly. Um, I came by bicycle. It's not very crowded. Just keep your distance from people. In crowded areas, wear a mask, wash your hands. Uh, don't take any chances. And uh, make sure you get home safely to your families. But one last look as the sun sets here in Tokyo. Uh, leave me a comment below. Hit the like button if you like these strovies, these uh, streamed movies. And I'll see you in another live stream probably tomorrow.